President Biden says Republicans are using migrants as props. Roll tape. We're committed to fixing the immigration system. Instead of working with us on solutions, Republicans are playing politics with human beings, using them as props. What they're doing is simply wrong. It's un-American. It's reckless. Guy Benson joins us, fortunately. We need Guy Benson today. Now, Guy, what do you think about that, using uh, migrants as props? Well, this guy has a lot of gall, complaining <laughs> about his political opponents using, admittedly, political stunts to highlight the catastrophic, inhumane cruelty of the failures of this administration when it comes to immigration policy. He's talking about working together to fix the problem. He came in and broke a problem that was already in relatively bad shape overall. He made it far, far worse. We've had a challenge with immigration, Stuart, in this country, illegal immigration, for years. It's ebbed and flowed under both administrations uh, of both parties. Uh, the Trump people finally got their arms around it to a large extent. Biden came in and, for entirely political reasons, threw out a bunch of the successful policies. And we've watched records getting shattered ever since. And this guy never comes out to say one word about any of it unless it's an opportunity to attack political opponents, like the whipping smear against border agents and now going after Republican governors for simply highlighting his failures. He owns this. It's becoming evident in more and more places around America that the border is bust and open and more and more places are paying the price. That's why I think it will become a, a more of an important political issue in November, because the problems are now associated everywhere in the country. That's exactly right. And for a long time, the people of Texas and Arizona in particular have suffered through this problem. They've absorbed a lot of the issues. They've been doing what they can to try to mitigate what the federal government will not do at the direction of the people running the country right now in the Biden administration. And what Greg Abbott and Doug Ducey and now Ron DeSantis have done just a little bit is to export a tiny taste of this border crisis into cities and jurisdictions that pride themselves on their progressive sanctuary status. And we have seen the left-wing leaders of those places squealing and screaming and throwing conniption fits for weeks now because part of the policies that they support tacitly or explicitly are being visited upon them. And I think that to that extent, this stunt by the Republicans is working. It is drawing attention to a problem that for the most part, the elites, the media overall, and certainly the Democratic Party do not want to talk about ever. And what these Republicans are saying is, here is the problem that you have created with your policies. Grapple with it. And the response has been volcanic, but I also think very revealing. Yeah, the response has indeed been volcanic. Did you see that Governor Newsom in California wants the Department of Justice to investigate, uh, I guess, the Republican governors for kidnapping these migrants? Now, now that is a volcanic response. That's a man who wants to be president. Uh, talk about political stunts, my goodness. And they want to criminalize or have an investigation of the governors. It's interesting now that you have some of these lefties appealing to, like, sovereignty and the rule of law when they do not have even lip service to pay on those issues on the actual crisis itself. Precisely. And if California is so enlightened and so progressive and so wonderful, they are, after all, a self-declared sanctuary state. I didn't see in that letter from Gavin Newsom, maybe I was missing the second page, where he offers to take in all of the migrants from Texas, why would they leave them somewhere so cruel, so inhumane? Why not welcome them to California with open arms? Uh, I don't think that he wants to address that particular question. He wants to preen and right. posture. It is completely about politics to these people. They don't care about the humanitarian disaster at the border. They sort of support it, and they want to sort of applaud themselves and their own policies from a very safe distance. I think you're right. You and I should go together to Martha's Vineyard and see what it's like up there, you know, because <laughs> I know you know Cape Cod pretty yes, I'll well. I'll do that reporting trip with you, Stuart. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> Thanks, Guy. See you soon.